Right, okay, welcome back to the shop. Let's uh, put this to one side. Let's try and do some case modifications. And yeah, I'm going to do it so it looks right. Mark a hole there. Mark a hole there. Okay, get some trusty Dremel. Okay, I can actually turn the microscope off, ladies and gentlemen. Right, you can see a bit more. Okay, I've just made two holes. Very roughy, roughy. I don't know what screws go where, but I'm going to go for these self-tapping ones. They're probably ones that hold the box together. They would do at the moment. Okay. Looking good. I think. Not quite, but... It will do... Kind of pissed, but no, it will do. Right. I need a hole there. This section to be gone, and that's uh, back with my Dremel. Lost me a bit. Okay. It's very rough. Doesn't have to be neat there. And two holes are done. I need to take away these. the most without Did I get in there still can't get in there damn Okay, let me see if I've got an end to mill. Something like that from here. Oh, I might do. I've got a little bit of a burr. Let me get rid of that. <coughs> Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, if I'm really lucky, this size screw will actually go all the way down through there, and I'm not that lucky. Bastard. Okay. What I may do then
make this hole a bit bigger here. I'm fitting the motor into there and we should be able to line up screws there, which we almost can. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Where's those? That'll be one. Make sure she still turns, yes. So the motor are fixed. I'm going to make these holes actually bigger. And hopefully they will. Yes, a bit more on that hole. Okay, that's actually it. We have some burrs, but... Okie dokie. Can't find the hole. There we go, that's the base. What I might actually do is, well, can I get past that? What have I done with that? I've got a tool bit. No, oh, this is typical. Okay, I'm going to use a little drill maybe. Don't know if the collar goes down this way. Nope. No. Is that one? No. Nope. Here it is. Couldn't see it for looking. Right, I'm just going to do. I don't know where they came out. Oh yeah, just there. Just about to see them. Look at that, guys. There and there. And that's obviously misses the motor and will be 
for this. So let's straighten that out a bit. Can you believe? I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Right, try again. Still struggling with that one hole. One more in, the other. Okay. We can plong that down like so. We just gotta centralize that. Glue that in position. Right, I've jumped ahead a bit. No, not too far. I have put some hot melt glue around here which is holding coil in position I've also mounted this on here, it was two holes and made a hole for my cables to come through drilled a 3 mil hole uh, for the IR LED hole for the switch held in with hot melt glue and drilled a hole in the side for this so it's actually at the point now where we uh, can switch the old solder and iron on and start connecting a few things. I might need to get a few more cables. And I very much doubt I can keep a good uh, uh, keep them the right colours because I don't think I've got any. You know, just red. No, I might have got the other few. Right. Just grabbing a few items. Right. Let me just get my meter. Let's find out what switch connections we want here. Assuming actually they're going, this is common, it's going between these, right, nothing. Right, that's a short. Is that the same? Yeah, and nothing there. What position is that in? That's the up, that's the on. So what we got, yep. And I presume that one, yep, okay, my presumptions are correct. So let's uh, see what we got for a bit of wire. Oh, where's those damn magnetic cutters? Okay, can't find them. Something else. Don't know what this cable's going to be like. Oh, it's a bit piss thin actually. Don't like that. What the cable have I got? I've got some Teflon coated. This stuff's bloody mad. Uh, so I might have to use that. It's just a real pig to strip. But I will try. Come on. Alas, it's all going to be in black. Right. So 
scrap bit more of that. Damn, stuff just does not strip. I think we got it there. Alright, soldering iron is nice and warm. Okay, let's start. Easy stuff first. Just tin that one, tin that one. Let's get some. Solder on here, solder on here. Right, let's go from here to here. And right, let's do from here to here. Oh, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Draw off the excess and break that connection. Typical. Right. Okay, that's the switch connections. <coughs> Let's see how this is going to be. That's going to be okay. So, let's cut that down a bit. That's better. Okay, and this is the positive of the thing of the jack. And like I said, sorry about the actual color coding. Okay, so let's just get on there. Oh dear, oh damn. It's getting a bit hot and I let go too early. Come on. Okay. Right, positive of jack goes through the switch. And then from the switch it should actually go to our board. So actually I could Take this one off. Use that later. Let's tin that. Put a sword up. Probably put a circuit board somewhere around here, which so that'd be quite good. Right. Negative of the board can go to the negative here. Okay. So that's the supply to the board. These are the motor wires. Now no damn well will they go straight across the supply. So I can stick that across the supply lines there. If the border stays still for 30 seconds. Okay. Let's 
the motor positive and the motor negative other side of the board actually stick that right up there. That's handy because uh, these are fairly short. Right. Now well, let's have a look what we got here. Mm. Okay what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the resistor in the negative leg only because I've got a track I'm going to go from negative up one and gives me a track to uh, connect he to doesn't actually matter which way around these two go whether so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the resistor there and the light emit in IR there. Okay, that's that. Now let's push that out. Oops, and throw it across the floor. Nice. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to cut that off a, a tad. Don't quite need it that long. Just going to plonk it there. What I will do is use some Adreno connectors. And what I'm actually doing Basically, pulling the plastic off. Uh, the reason being is I want to solder them in place as they are now. And it will actually uh, bulk it up a bit for the size of heat shrink I've got. So two bits of heat shrink. Let's lose that. lighter or a source of heat okay for a minute I didn't think for a minute I didn't think we had any gas right let's have a look negatives the orange okay put them back in there don't think we quite need them that long So the cable's the same size. Cut it. Alright. This one stripped. It's 
two strapped. Right, so the orange was negative, so this was positive. So I'm going to get it through the hole on the uh, positive track. Hopefully the uh, That. Okay, that's got it. The negative or the orange will go on to obviously the negative, but after the resistor. the awkward one which is the uh, the coil but don't want to go through a hole come on just keeps splaying out let's tin it Okay, let's see if we can get for a hole now. Come on. Yes, we got through there. That was a bit of a pain. <coughs> right. Hold that. Come on. All right, we got that as well. Okay. Everything apart from the coil. Right, we need to look at this. Now, one end of the coil goes to negative. That's easy. Right, so. One end goes there. Let's do the short end. Let's try and uh, I think that's got it. Can't quite tell. No, it hasn't. Oh, you pig. Come on. Okay, that's through. So one end of the coil goes on the negative. The other end goes on the collector of the big one and which was the collector and the collector was two which is the middle so that goes to the middle pin there Okay, and um, that should be it. Right, we just need to bend this all into place. I want to put a bit of aluminium uh, heat sinky onto this, but that should be it. 
So right, I'll just call that uh, end of episode. What number are we up to? Five or six? I can't remember what episode we're up to. But it's the end of the episode. Join us in the next one when we plug it in and see what doesn't happen. <laughs>